The theorem of this video is vitally important. A lot of calculus too is based on this. And it's a pretty simple theorem to state, a lot more intuitive than the mean value theorem probably was, for example. All it says is that if two functions have the same derivative, then those functions are equal up to a constant. That is to say, one of these functions is the other function plus a constant. And the proof of this ultimately relies on the mean value theorem, but more immediately relies on the theorem of the previous video. If f prime equals g prime, then f prime minus g prime equals zero. Now, the derivative of a difference is the difference of the derivatives. So if we have f prime minus g prime, we can rewrite that as f minus g prime. And now from the previous video, if the derivative equals zero, then f minus g must be a constant function. And if we add g to both sides, we get precisely what I just said we should get. What makes this theorem so important? Let's look ahead a little and state the kind of problem we might do in calculus too. An object falling to the ground has a constant acceleration under Earth's gravity. The acceleration function is negative 9.8. And let's remember that the acceleration function is the derivative of the velocity function. And let's ask, what can we say about the velocity function? Well, suppose we recognize that a possible velocity function is negative 9.8 times a t. This function has the property that if we take its derivative, we get negative 9.8. What the theorem we just stated now allows us to say is that any velocity function 
action. Is this plus a constant? Because this velocity function and this velocity function have this have to have the same derivative. They have to have negative 9.8 as their derivative. And if two functions have the same derivative, they're the same except for a constant. So once we found a velocity function, we were able to use that to find every possible velocity function.